everyone, thanks for joining me. Um, I'm Orlando O. Uh, today I'm going to be opening my pillow, purple pillow and uh, giving you my first impressions and give you uh, my first ever unboxing. Uh, so let me know what you think and uh, I'll, I've got a few other things I'd like to try out and unbox down the road, um, but let me know what you think. Thank you very much, guys. Stay tuned. So here's the package it comes in. Uh, it's a self-contained, very plasticky vinyl container with full branding. I guess you could probably reuse it for maybe taking some stuff to the gym. Um, I don't see any hooks to latch it on or to latch on a strap or anything, but um, I would say it weighs about 10 to 12 pounds. I'll go ahead and um, fully weigh it and list the actual weight in the description. Um, but you can see it's got a zipper on one side, so let's go ahead and unzip it and take a look inside. So, warning, this bag is known to contain polyvinyl chloride, which is known to the state of California to cause cancer or birth defects or other reproductive harm. For more information, go to blah blah blah. So, okay. Alright, so, um, packaging has some... So it's clear plastic, but with branding and paper on this side. Um, and then it has like a business card insert, almost. Anyway, so it comes with this cute little mini mattress, it looks like. It seems to be made of the same material that the pillow and the mattresses are made out of. I'm not sure what I would use this for. Maybe I could put my phone on it. We'll see if it makes for a good little rest for sitting in my car or something like that. Not sure how that would work with a wireless charger, but oh well. Cool. Um, and then beyond that, it's got branded plastic wrapping it all. I'm just gonna pull everything out. So seems to be nicely rolled up inside. I'm just going to go ahead and reach in and pull out. Hopefully not too much. No, not too bad. Okay, so empty bag otherwise. Go ahead and set that behind me for now. And it keeps its shape because of this plastic wrap. Let's go ahead and remove it. And let's unroll this. Sorry, my dog is scratching herself. Okay, so it seems to be a little bit warped, probably from being wrapped for so long. I'm not sure if you could see that. Yeah, okay. Um, and it does have a front and a back side, so if we unzip this, the guy at the store showed me. Um, it's got like this vinyl or vo woven material on one side and then the patented foam on the other. It looks like it's melted directly to it. From what I understand, you cannot wash this in the machine. So if you, well, you can't wash this por portion in the machine. You can wash the actual uh, wrap though, however. Um, yeah, so it looks like it's melted on, if I pull on it a little bit, it seems to come undone, so I won't be doing that too much. And then I've seen another reviews online that there seems to be some kind of powder coating on everything. I'm not sure what it's for, I'm assuming, assuming it's so that it doesn't stick together. Um, and I've seen where people recommend you wash it first before using it. You can see it almost looks like talcum powder. It doesn't really smell like anything. Hmm. Personally, I'm not going to wash mine. I'm just going to put it in a case and hopefully it doesn't cause any harm. So, the materials. Again, the typical warning to not remove labels, but it has the gel pad at 98%, polyester fiber pad 2%. Patent information, um, 
Disclaimers, dimensions, weighs 9 pounds, 2 ounces, made in the USA. There's a little label in here. I'm not sure if this is referring to just the case or the pillow itself. Um, I'm assuming it's this case that comes on the outside. Oh no, it says gel pad, so never mind. Cool. Alright, so I'm going to try to relax this a little bit. Maybe the shape will be what it needs to be when I flip it back over. It's interesting, when I push down on it, you can feel the air rush through the little holes. So if you, if you look on this side, in between the, the, the superstructure, the mesh, there are these little holes that let the air go in and out of. And when I squeeze it, you can actually hear it compress. Interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and zip it up and then flip it over again. Okay, so it's still got that little kink on one side. I'm assuming it'll go away over time. But anyway, um, so that's the mattress. Um, I'm gonna keep the container it came in, except maybe this plastic wrap. I'm not sure what I'll do with that. Hopefully not throw it away. Um, but I originally decided to go for this mattress because I went to, sorry, I've got quarantine hair too, by the way. Um, I'm going to give myself a haircut tomorrow, probably. But anyway, I had gone to the mattress store called Mattress Farm. Let me double check the name. called Mattress Firm in Squim, Washington. I dropped in to get a bed frame for a mattress that I already have. Um, and then I just happened to see that they carried purple products. I have never seen or touched those products before. So, um, so of course they were friendly enough to let me sit on one. And then they mentioned they've got the pillows. There's a deal that they can grant you if you buy a mattress, but of course I'm not in the market for one. so. Uh, but I was very impressed with the pillows. Um, they had two different types. This is the original purple pillow. There's the other one, which I believe is called the Harmony, um, which I may be receiving soon, which I may or may not compare to this one. Um, but yeah, I'll share more of this mattress. Uh, I'll share more of this pillow as time goes by, and I'll let you guys know what I think. But so far, I'm excited to try it out. Thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks.